Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this is the first part of a multiple part series on the basics of editing video. This series is for anybody that wants to learn how to import and edit videos and then share them with friends and family either on YouTube or Vimeo or on your Apple TV or your mobile device, whatever that is. This is the series for you. And so unfortunately, I can't teach you how to edit videos in about eight minutes. It takes a little bit of time. And so we're gonna spend the next few episodes going through all of the different things that you need to know. And I'm assuming that you don't know anything about editing video. So this is an absolute beginner's guide for editing video. And we're gonna do all of this in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Now, if you don't have Adobe Premiere Pro CC, that's okay. You can download a free 30-day trial from Adobe. It's really, really easy. All you have to do is zip over to adobe.com slash creativecloud.html and then zip over and click on the free trial little uh, link there. What you want to do is make sure that you download two things and maybe even three. The first is Adobe Premiere Pro. So you want to make sure you download that. You also need to download this little thing called Adobe Media Encoder. We're going to get to that in later episodes. And then you may also want to download Adobe Lightroom. That's optional, but we are going to be getting into a little bit of the integration between Lightroom and Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, when you click on the download button, what you're going to see is that Adobe will ask you to create an Adobe ID. That's okay. It's absolutely free. And you need to do that to use all the features of the Creative Cloud applications. And so uh, make sure you do that. All right. So I'm going to assume that you've installed everything onto your uh, computer and you're ready to go. One thing I want to point out is that I am editing on a laptop. My video files and all my projects are stored on an external hard drive. In fact, I've got two of these because one is recording the video that I'm making right now and the other has the video that I'm going to be editing in the video that I'm recording. So I've got two external hard drives and I highly recommend if you're editing video that you do that. You store all your files on an external hard drive. All right. Well, now that we're ready to go, let me go over sort of how Premiere Pro is set up, the interface itself. The interface, uh, we're just going to dive in here. I'm using, by the way, a project that I created. This is a real project. It is called My Muddy Adventure. You can find this on YouTube. I've attached the link to this file uh, in the description of this video. So you can click that. It's about a 17 minute video if you want to watch that. The reason I'm using this is that because this project has everything that we need to learn. It has a basic video uh, edit, so all the different elements of video and audio. It's got music. It has transitions between different clips, fades in and fades out. It has titles and it even has some basic simple animation. And so we're going to learn all of that stuff in this series. And so this project is perfect for us to peek in and see how it was done in real life. And we're going to dissect that and do it ourselves and a much simpler project. But let me show you this interface. Really the uh, interface is set up in four major parts. On the left hand side there is a window. This is our source monitor. It's a monitor that shows us the clips that we're editing. In other words the the raw ingredients. So this is where we say this is where I want the video to start and where I want that to end. The different clips. On the right to, of that is our program monitor. This program monitor shows us our entire project. And so it's our completed film. Everything that's been happening, everything that we're doing shows up on the right and they're independent of each other. So we can work a little bit on our source, make sure we have that uh, just a little clip selected and throw it on to our main timeline. So let's show you the timeline. The timeline is where everything happens. It's sort of the heartbeat of Premiere, of any editing application actually. The timeline is a linear representation of our entire project. So if I zoom in here, I'm zooming in using the plus key, I'm zooming out using the minus key, you'll see that there are little blocks. And these blocks represent different items. They represent either a title or a video clip or an audio clip or a transition or an effect. So each little thing that is in our video shows up as a block and you can see it gets sort of complicated looking and this is sort of a simple video so don't be uh, put off by all these little blocks here but let's zoom in really really close and i'm going to play just the very very first part of this the first uh, 15 seconds or so of this uh, video and uh, i'm gonna make this big i'll show you what this looks like here we go 
So it's a title, some crazy music, a motorcycle. We have a me talking, and there you go. So that's the first 10 seconds. But let's look on the timeline and see what happens. So we'll see here that on the timeline, this is a representation of time. So we're moving forward in time. We have something here that is called the, uh, the time indicator, this line right here. This shows us our current time. It's also called a playhead. And so we can drag that around and that is how we move through the timeline. The timeline is broken up into frames. Each one of these little dots here, each one of these little lines here uh, is actually a frame. And a frame is each of the individual pictures in a video. So you might shoot 30 pictures per second or 60 per second. So when we put them on the timeline, we can see each one of those individually and that's how we chop things up. So on the timeline, we can see that, we can move through that. I'll zoom out here a little bit. And notice that we have things stacked on the timeline. So this first thing right here, this little white thing, that's a title. And notice it has a little weird uh, uh, block right here that says cross dissolve. That means it's gonna fade in. So as we move forward in time, notice over here on our program monitor, we have a title fading in on top of a video. The video is of the motorcycle. And we also are hearing some music. That's this little thing right here. That is a music track. So we have a title and a video and a music track. And as we play forward, we notice that the title goes away. So as we move forward, we'll see the title go away. There it goes. We can see that on the timeline. And then we'll see that as we go forward, that our music is going to end and we're going to have a new title that comes up. There it is. Our new title comes up. And then as we go forward, that title is going to go away. And now it's just video and me talking. So that's basically how a timeline works. We have all these different things on the timeline going in order. But the nice thing about Premiere and other editors like this, Final Cut Pro, is that you can edit things in a non-linear fashion. In other words, you can put things on the timeline and if you don't like the way they're arranged, no problem. You can shift everything around and move it back and forth and trim it and stretch it. You can do all of that stuff. We're gonna do that in the next episode, but that is how our project is made up and how it works. And so we're gonna really have a lot of fun with this. Okay, so now that we understand the workspace, and we understand sort of how it goes and a high level. Don't worry, we're gonna learn more specific things about this workspace as we go forward. Let's keep going. Let's actually create our first project. We can do this from scratch. So I'm gonna to go to Premiere. I'm gonna say new project. Now when you first open project, you usually are first open Premiere. In fact, I'll do that right now. I'm just gonna open Premiere from scratch. You'll see this little dialogue right here and it's going to ask you some things. So we will open a new project. So click on new project, and then it's gonna have a bunch of things here that look really scary, and we don't know what to do with them right now, but that's okay. So we're, let's name this. We're gonna name this my first project. Always give your projects some kind of name, uh, something that's descriptive. Then we need to choose a location, a physical location on our hard drive. So I'm gonna put this on an external hard drive. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to put this on my two terabyte orange drive, this hard drive right here, in my videos folder. And then I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call this my first project. So you can put yours anywhere you want, but I highly suggest that you put it on an external hard drive if you have one. I'll see, say choose and then I will say okay. Everything else, don't worry too much about video and audio and capture and all that other stuff. It doesn't really matter at this point. All right, now this is what Project uh, Premiere looks like, your very first project. It's just sort of this blank canvas. There's nothing there. The first thing we need to do is get files in to Premiere so that we can start working with them. So what I've done is I have on my external hard drive, I have a folder called footage with a ton of video footage. Now I highly recommend if you're shooting video that you figure out some way to organize your footage because before you know it, it's gonna become chaos. And so I have some folders here. I have one that's called Africa, and then I've got things that are broken up by country. I've got South Africa, I did a bunch of stuff there, so I have these uh, broken up into different events that I did. I've got Europe, 
and some other things. The other thing I have is this GoPro footage and you notice that it is by date. Now I'm using Adobe, I mean uh, uh, GoPro's quick application and it automatically takes GoPro footage and puts it into a nice folder by date um, format and so that's where this came from and inside here you can see that I've got different GoPro Hero cameras so it's really nice and organized and I really really like that so what I'm going to do is the first thing in Adobe Premiere we need to do is to import our uh, video footage and so what I recommend that you do on the left hand side the lower left hand side of your screen you'll see that there is a project and that is where we're going to be putting all of our media and what we can do is start creating bins bins are just a fancy word for folders all right so I'm going to create a new bin and I'm going to do that in my project here by creating clicking on this new bin icon and I'm going to call this footage once I have that done I'm going to create another bin and I'm going to call this one music and then I'm going to create another one called sequences and I'm going to do that so I can keep all of my different elements separated and make them easy to find and so uh, I highly recommend that you create these and one more called stills for your still images photos and so it's also a good idea to save your project frequently so command or control s to save all right now I'm going to double click on footage and then I can right click and say import and then navigate to my folder to import files there's a different way to do this it's much easier just go to your finder or Windows Explorer and then go to the footage that you want to import so I'm going to go here to uh, this folder right here the seventh I'm going to click on these and then just drag them over and drop them into that window and then it's going to import the files so they're in there so now if I double click on that you'll see I have a video that's right here all right so importing is really easy easy so you either right click say import navigate and then choose the files or you can just drag things in and the nice thing is if you have a bunch of folders like all those folders that I showed you with my GoPro footage in dates you can just grab all of them and then drag it into your footage and it will keep all the folders exactly like they were on your hard drive so that's why it's really important to keep things organized because if you do it on your hard drive then you can just drag it in and it's going to keep it organized on inside your project so again I'm going to save my project now what we're going to do is we are going to start and we're going to put our very first clip on the timeline so to put something on a timeline you need what's called a sequence you need to create a sequence so what I can do here is I can go back to my sequences and then I can create this new item and then I can say sequence now as soon as I do this my mind is just gonna start melting because I have so many different choices and presets I have no idea where to begin I do but I'm pretending I'm you where do you begin well these all represent different file formats and frame rates and resolutions and codecs and all kinds of things that you don't need to know about at all to edit video at this point so I'm not even going to use this I'm just going to hit cancel there's a much easier way to create a brand new sequence and make sure that all the settings are correct all you have to do is take your footage that is from your main camera the one that you're using most in this instance it's my GoPro so I have that loaded in here I double clicked it and so I'm just going to drag this by clicking dragging it over here where the timeline should be and letting go blink and now I have a sequence and that sequence is all set up it's absolutely correct it matches everything unfortunately it has a weird name the name matches the the actual uh, clip and it puts it in the uh, root folder so you have to go in here you'd have to right click rename that so I'm gonna rename this I'm gonna call it main timeline there we go and then I'm gonna drag that into my sequences folder so that it's in the right place okay that's all there is to it so now we have this clip it looks pretty cool if I play that well, it looks very beautiful looks pretty good except for I've got too much on the front so I can drag this on the left get rid of that drag it over now I've got this clip here well, it looks very beautiful behind me but uh, on the other yay 
Hey, so I actually have a video. It's not fancy, but look what we can start doing here. So uh, maybe I want to take this and add a clip in front of that. I can just zip over. I'll grab, uh, this is my picture of my motorcycle, and I'll say, hey, let me give you five seconds of that and put it down there. And so now, all of a sudden, there's a motorcycle, and then it goes to me, and I can do all kinds of other things. I can put in transitions and music and all, all kinds of stuff. So how do we do that? Well, that's what we're going to do next week. We're going to dive in, and we're going to do nothing but work on the timeline. We're going to learn how to set endpoints and outpoints and transitions and get things on the timeline and move them around and shorten and stretch and do all kinds of fun stuff. So don't forget to join us for the next episode. In fact, you can make sure you don't forget to join us by subscribing to Adorama TV. So if you haven't done that already, click on the subscribe button. I will see you in the next episode. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. I'll see you then.